Give us a sense of what's happening. A lot is happening. Well, uh, clearly, yeah. <laughs> clearly, yes. So Didi has is set to raise uh, more than $4 billion. It's mm. priced um, at the top of the range and it's likely going to, it's increasing the size of the share sale as well. So that's um, certainly signifying strong demand for its offering, despite the um, regulatory overhang and as well as the, the investor pushback that there had been against the valuation it had been seeking um, as, as recently as a few months ago. Um, for Xpeng, uh, as you said, it's, it's set to raise about uh, $1.8 billion. It's the first of the three US listed Chinese EV makers to come back to Hong Kong. And so that's certainly going to add to its war chest. Um, that's really fierce competition in China in that industry. And so, and all of them, most of them are still um, loss making. So they've been raising money, a lot of money in the last year. Uh, we know that it is uh, facing an antitrust uh, probe. Uh, how will that impact sentiment, you think? Um, so there have been reports of the, of the antitrust probe, certainly, and Didi was also one of the 34 companies that were ordered to rectify um, its practices. And so that's, um, that's an overhang that has been hanging on most of um, China's tech giants, essentially, uh, given the uncertainty around the regulatory outcomes. So that might have been one of the reasons that the valuation had to come down a little bit from what from the 100 billion, the up to 100 billion that had been mooted a few months ago. Um, but still, uh, clearly, investors have bought into this. It's well oversubscribed, and so um, it's not completely halted the um, the offering.